wanted to show the production on. This is just one of my small sea buckthorns I got planted in my backyard. And we've been eating off this for about a month now already. Here's the production on some of my larger bushes. These ones are five to six feet tall. There's my hand in just to give you a comparison. You can see how densely concentrated they are. Now these bushes grow to 12 feet in diameter by 12 feet high at least and last year they saved my robins. We had a terrible blizzard in the spring as we kind of usually do. This one was pretty noxious and these will stay on all through the winter and they kind of get like wine and the uh, robins just love them, our robin redbreasts. As you can see, we've got some beautiful sized parkland apples. been eating for a couple of weeks off this tree. We just eat them as they ripen. And these are 100% organic. There's nothing in these apples. And every once in a while you get a maybe a worm that gets in but usually they eat their way out and I don't even mind that much but for the most part I'd say 98% they're blemishless apples. There's my little September ruby. Beautiful apples. I think they should call these October rubies because they're still really not ripe enough to eat and it's September 13th. We've already had minus 8 temperatures at night. A very hardy apple these, these September ruby. Actually all of these um, hardy apples are very very hardy. They're comparative in size to any of the gala apples or any of those apples you're buying in the store at least here now. I mean, we get larger red delicious and golden delicious, but these aren't fully developed yet either. Hmm, here's an even nicer, bigger one. I think that's about the biggest one. So close to three inches in diameter. My thumb is, oh, uh, maybe two and a half inches in diameter. Very nice apples, anyway. They're kind of like a cross between a Red Delicious and uh, I don't really know what other apple, but they taste kind of like a pear once you get them really, really frosted hard to get brown sugar streaks in them. Really a great apple. I just love these apples. And of course my Harrelson. These overall are a larger apple um, and the tree will grow to apparently 25 feet. So it's not a, a miniature tree at all, but the apples this year are smaller than I've ever had them. It's probably one of the nicer apples on the tree. Oh, here's some a little bit bigger ones up here. That's that's a pretty nice apple. And here's that volunteer sunflower that came from the ones I rototilled in. Oh, it's a very late. My span is 10 inches. This thing's bigger than two people's heads. And already the Blue Jays have been at it. And that's not the Toronto Blue Jays. As you can see, there's not too much exaggeration there. A lot of food in these, but just too much work for Tostar to try and acquire it. I don't mind picking at them, but anyone knowing how to get these out without too much work out of the shell 
let me know. Dostar.